now that we've completed our user cedar and our and we've updated our users migration table uh, we won't need to do really anything else here for the rest of the module for the user management module uh, so we'll close this out same with the user cedar but what we do need to do is give ourselves a way to now manage users so on the administrator side that's where we're going to handle the creation of a user uh, with all of their credentials in there and also the ability to to manage them uh, so to get that started what we're going to do is uh, we're going to play around a little bit with our routes and uh, with with Vue.js so first and foremost let's create a little route for us to go to I'm going to leave it in here and these routes are only going to be accessible by means of if you're authenticated or uh, you know you're an administrator so on and so forth so we have route prefix and I'm going to say uh, we'll call this prefix users okay namespace we're going to put this under users name you'll see how this all comes together if you're not familiar with creating routes um, okay so we'll use a callback in there we won't link out to another file we'll just leave it in here and what we're going to want to do is just create basically a dashboard we'll create a users controller with the method of index that we're going to point to and we're going to name this particular route dashboard okay so next thing we'll do here is we will create a controller and namespace is going to be users and then users controller now where that pops up is over here in app http controllers users users controller of course myself i like to go control p command p and then type in um, type it in in here to find it very quickly we're going to create a method in here the one that the route points to that is the index method and we'll just type in um, we'll just return hey there okay now we're going to go to our layout file which is found in resources views layouts app so this is the general structure of our application that's found here this here you're looking at between nav this is the navigation bar that we see at the top in here with blade we have guest and else so if the person's not logged in they're going to be given this block of code basically and if the person is logged in they're authenticated then they're going to see what's in here so from here we'll modify things a little bit uh, one we're gonna have to create uh, another drop down item so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna copy all of this and we're gonna get rid of the items that we don't need in here so one we don't need this login form and we don't need this particular drop down item we'll put another drop down item in here we'll say a dot drop down dash item oops not capital A dash item and you're gonna put our route in here so if you remember our route was users dot dashboard okay and then we'll just say manage users might also put out something else up here like all user logs things that we can add in the future We'll leave the caret sign in there and we're just going to type in here users now if we go back to our application and we refresh things you'll see we have users up here with manage users if i click on that it's going to say hey there so what we need to do now is point to a view file a blade file that brings in our main layouts file and uh, so that we can actually start uh, viewing things so I'm going to close this. I don't need this for now. Uh, users controller. I'm just going to point it to a view, and it's going to be uh, we'll say users dot index. So we need to create a, a folder for users, and then index dot blade dot php. So under resources, we'll go views, 
uh, you're going to create the folder users and then it's just going to be index dot blade dot php and then in here we will extend the layout so add extends and it's going to be layouts dot app i'll save that and b extends oh sorry not b extends but um section so at so add section and end section and we need to put in here content now how we know it's content is we'll go back to our app.blade.php file the one that we had previously opened and down here is where our content is going to get yielded one other thing i'm going to add in here is just a bootstrap class of container I'm going to put it in between here. Okay, so let's go to our index file here. I'm going to add some bootstrap classes like .card and margin top three, and then we'll do .card body. And in here, I'll create some kind of a title, which will be manage users. Now, when we go back to our page here and we click refresh, you can see we have everything brought in, right? Okay. Now, from here, instead of we're going to manage uh, these in kind of larger components with view so uh, if you're not familiar with view that's okay uh, i'm going to go slow and i'll explain things uh, as as we go along here and i'll do this in the next video